Hi, this is Tanya from Love Buddha Tarot, back with the weekly forecast for Aquarius for the week beginning the 24th of July 2017. Now, just before I do this reading, if anybody wants a personal reading with me, you can book via my website. The link is below. It's very straightforward. There's a booking schedule. It will tell you my availability and you just book in when is good for you. OK, so the link is below and it's very, very easy to use. So right, Aquarius, this week, oh, I only pull a couple of cards straight away and, you know, you're one of the last videos that I'm doing and this week has not been pretty. I'm actually worn out with it, okay, but I'm not as worn out as what you are. What I'm getting here, uh, Aquarius, the first thing, the key word that is coming in for you this week is guilt, okay? Now, guilt is a horrible emotion. Guilt uh, in the Tibetans don't even have a word for guilt because they believe it's an emotion that we can't learn anything from. We can learn from regret because then next time we're presented with something, we do it differently. But with guilt, all it does is eat us up inside. And this is what I feel is is there around you. It's like I'm wanting to like grab my head. There's this stuff going on in my head and it's like, no, make it stop, you know. But if you rise above this guilt, this is when there is clear air. There is clean air clean clean air right so I feel you could may need to clear the air here in some way I feel when I'm looking at your cards so far like I say I haven't finished pulling uh, pulling the cards yet but I feel that there is a little bit of guilt regret you know there's it's like looking at a mess so I don't know if you've been doing something that you shouldn't or what but what I feel here is I feel there's, there's a need to get stuff off my chest. I'm feeling like I want to repent, if that makes sense, you know. It's like something that I may have done is actually eating me up inside and I want to... I want to sort of sort of give a full confession if, if that makes sense or if any of you are Catholic or whatever which you probably wouldn't be watching these if you were but it's like going to confession you know like sort of cleanse your soul in some way but I feel there's a fear around this as well you know there there is a fear of sort of owning up to something as well um but what this is saying is look in look at this in a different way okay like i say don't beat yourself up because when you are beating yourself up what you are doing is you are keeping yourself in prison nobody has actually imprisoned you okay nobody has done that but by you keeping yourself in this state this is this is this is what you're going to do okay so this is coming in. I don't know if, if this is making sense to anybody. Please let me know because it's clear as a bell here. Um, but like I say, it's, it, it's very strange. Um, so this is, I feel you are frightened to go forward in some way. It's like you are sticking with what you know. And there's something where you're not you're, you're not wanting to go forward. There seems to be a fire sign around you, okay? Now, this fire sign, um, I feel there's a creativity around. I feel there's like a sort of a magnetic pull or something like this, right? And I feel that there's a happiness around this. But where this happiness is, there's an emptiness. So it's like... It's sort of like something is out of your reach, okay? And something has gone out of balance and this is what is needed to be brought in, okay? You need to find common ground here. This this is what I'm 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 feeling here. Um I do feel you have to give something up as well, okay? This is what it's saying. I feel there are a few people getting hurt in a situation that is around you, Aquarius, you know, and it's like, it's sort of, pff, this This can it carry on like this. Like I say, I feel this is, you know, it's like I'm getting this silent screaming inside of me, you know, and it's not good. And you're like just in limbo, you know, you don't know which way to go. And that is not a good, when you're in limbo, you go nowhere. So it's like everything stops. So what this is saying is it's like you need to start looking what is it you want for your future. You want your future to be solid. Now, some of you could be decorating. I'm being shown a fireplace here for some reason. I don't know why this fireplace. You could be hanging something above a fireplace. Now, a fireplace is usually the heart of a home as well. So I don't know whether this is metaphorical 
or whether you are physically doing something with a fireplace as well, you know. Um, but the home is coming in is very important here as well. But also you're being urged to hold back okay hold back i don't know what this is in connection with but they're saying you know hold back it's like be grateful for what you've got okay you know when we have this like sort of everybody else seems to have something and we want that you know when we're a child it's like oh i want that and i want that and i want want, want that it's like saying here be grateful with what you've got here as well you know because i feel this wanting everything you see might be the cause of, you know, this, this this sadness or this turmoil that you're actually getting. And like I say, there is this sadness around you as well, you know, sort of a yearning for something that you haven't got, you know. But when you're grateful for what you've got and you're coming from a place of abundance, then the universe will give you more. If you're coming from a place of lack, you will always feel shortchanged. And this is what it's saying. You need to free yourself from this. I really feel you need to look back to the past here as well, um, Aquarius. And what they're saying here, I feel that there is a... I feel this is a female figure, okay? I feel this is a female figure, but I feel it was somebody who was quite controlling, quite stern, quite, I don't like them, controlling, manipulative, you know, not a good sort. And I feel that they sort of, in some way, shaped your ideas. Eh? Um, yeah, they shaped... They shaped your ideas into what you're doing now or what you're you're wanting now and I really feel it, it's like this person seemed to strip you of your confidence and I don't know if this person put you down or what so now it's like you might have this sort of like bravado around you but I feel that this is false and this is what they're saying you need to look back to the past where you felt this need to show the world look at how great I am or whatever because that actually comes from an insecurity and I feel this is connected to like I say I feel it is a female it could be male but I feel it is a female figure um, and it's like this person put you down a lot they they put you down I feel words they said to you disempowered you in some way so there's like this bravado it's like you wear a mask now to cover the emotional hurt if that makes sense and like this is wow sorry um aquarius um but what they're saying here is you know the way to actually heal this hurt and the way to get your confidence back is to let real love in and i really feel your idea of love needs to be looked at as well because i feel you can cut through any of the bullshit that you've been told look at the conditioning that you've had you know and like i say love does not mean worry love does not mean hurt and i feel this is where where your struggle is so what they're saying there's work to do here i don't know whether you need to read books i don't know whether you need to to throw yourself into work or whatever but there's some studying to do and this could be internal studying as well you know um because like i say there's you need to take this armor off you need to step out of this suit that you've been wearing because it's getting heavy that's it. It's getting heavy. This is this is what they're saying to me here, you know. And it's like I say, you need to break your own illusion. Now, I feel this week something could come out of the blue as well, which actually could be an ending of sorts. Um, it could be through communication, you know, because there's a lot of communication here. But I feel this is something that needed to end. Now, this could just be these feelings that you're having rather than actually a physical ending as well. But like I say, your energy is not what it should be at the moment, Aquarius. You need to step into your power and look at where you get your power. Where do you feel powerful? Where do you feel powerful? What is it that you think makes you feel secure? And ask yourself the question, is that true? You know, does this, whatever you're doing, does it really make you secure? Because once you are balanced within yourself, this is when the healing can begin. This is when this replenishment can come in. And they're saying, it's time now. Now, when I was talking about, this is really strange that they're bringing this in. When I was talking about going to confession, 
there if any of you are Catholic or anything like that. What they're seeing here is like there's sort of like I feel towards the end of the week there could be some sort of like baptism, if that makes sense. So it's like I want you to sort of go in the water and cleanse yourself. This is it, you know. You need to cleanse yourself of this guilt. You need to cleanse yourself of these old ideas and structures that don't actually serve you, you know. And you need to see that your security and your future lies within you. OK, it doesn't lie within another person. You need to feel secure within yourself and then you can feel secure with other people. You know, if you are constantly looking for other people or other fixes or other whatever to make you feel secure, you are always going to feel insecure. You know, you might get that initial buzz, but then the, the emptiness comes back. What you need to do is be true to yourself, trust yourself and actually fill up your own cup. This is it. That is only when you can give to other people and that is only when you can start to live a life which is more fulfilling for you as well. Now, this is strange because Capricorn got something like this as well, you know, and they were saying that this is something that is, is came from the past. But it's find your strength within, okay? Find yourself, see where it is you need to feel in control. What they're saying here as well is you don't, um, there's, I feel there's a lot of physical stuff in here as well. So they're saying if you look, you know, like, like physical stuff doesn't always mean love, if that makes sense. So we can, we can seek physical pleasures, you know, but if they make us secure then that's great but if they still leave us empty you know then we need to look at what is it we we are, are, are needing you know what emotional itch is it that we are needing to scratch where we we feel the need to be intimate with another person or physical with another person because the intimacy here I don't I don't feel it's there you know so like I say this is a big big week for you Aquarius I'm so sorry I was not expecting this I feel this week you will see things that you haven't seen before. I feel this week could be a time of you thinking, I just need to get away and I just need to be on my own, you know, because there's a lot of internal sorting out to do, like an internal spring clean as well here. Um, and then I see you coming back more powerful than you were, but with this gentle power, not with a control and power as well you know so this could be a new birth of you this could be a you actually opening your heart to the to the universe opening your heart to love feeling whole within yourself and finding this contentment that you may have been seeking in other ways as well I feel friends are very important this week as well you know um so I feel there's lots of parties there's you know there's there's stuff like that and I feel it's like you know there's sunshine in your soul Cap, uh, Aquarius you know please allow this to come out this is where your power will come from you know your power is not what you exert on the outside it's how you feel on the inside so I hope that makes sense to you um I'm going to pull a spirit card and see what I've got there I've, I wasn't expecting them to be this heavy honestly my hair this week has been been bizarre so right okay Right, Aquarius, Aquarius, Aquarius. Right, okay. Responsibility. And this says, do what feels right for you above all else. It's impossible to please all parties in the present situation. You have responsibility only for your own life and actions. Others must take responsibility for themselves. So that, I feel, is tying in with the guilt things, okay? Take responsibility for yourself, you know? Own own what you need to. But like I say, you know, it, it's, it's not your problem to take responsibility for other people as well. And like I say, this is where guilt comes in. When you feel responsible for other people's feelings or whatever, and then they're not happy, this is when you can actually start to feel guilt. So like I say, this is what is good for you know, for you, um, you know, but like I say, always remember to, to be kind as well, you know, that is, I feel, paramount with this.
okay so i hope that makes sense please let me know if it did and if anybody would like a personal reading with me please get in touch via my website the link is below and if you like these videos if you think that they'll help somebody a friend or whatever you know then please share them it's all about like sort of spreading the love okay sat nam <laughs>